Hello everyone and welcome back to our Thrawn's Revenge Imperial Civil War 2.2 preview playthrough as the Araidu Authority. Uh, between episodes, or right before I started recording the episode, I was just moving around some forces and replenishing some of our ground forces like I like to do, and then the New Republic decided they wanted to attack us. Uh, if you look at the chart here for the planets, the Remnant is probably at 5 or 6, the New Republic is about at 1. Uh, so they just built up everything they could at, I'm assuming, Borlaeus, maybe Nukivzor, and they decided to attack Coruscant with a fleet of fighters and frigates. So we're going to try to defend that with what we have. It might not actually work because our hypervelocity guns won't really matter against a bunch of fighters. And we don't have too many anti-fighters. Uh, plus they have a ton of bombers that will be really strong against Cronus here. So I'm going to try to retreat before they can kill Cronus. But it might not happen for us. So we'll have to see what happens there. We're going to try to take... Uh, both Hawaii and Kothlis, or Kothlis, we already have both Hawaii, from the Greater Maldrood, but it looks like most of our fight here is going to be against the PA, the Maldrood, and Warlord Zinj at some point, because the, the New Republic has just that one, maybe two planets, and the Remnant isn't too far behind them, really. Let's see. It's about half. Uh, people have pointed out in the demo and in this version, the Dauntless has some issues going on with its, uh, if it, yeah, yeah. Choose your reinforcements. with its hangar, that's the word I was looking for, and, uh, that, we know how to fix that, it's just I haven't done it yet, so, it should also have fighters. Alright, we're gonna have to try to make this not lose. That was not a coherent sentence. But anyway, on Saturday we had uh, the last episode, and we also there were some announcement trailers, and there was some question about whether or not they were real, and I can 100% confirm to you right now that the Trek Wars, Star Trek versus Star Wars mod for Sins was a 100% fake April Fool's joke. So I know that'll disappoint a lot of people uh, who are really looking forward to us and the Star Trek Armada team uh, coming together on that. But uh, me and like our development team and their development team, we started trying to plan it, and then there's just a big fist fight, and it was it was unpleasant. So I'm sorry to everyone who's disappointed by that, but uh, sometimes you just gotta throw down. And we couldn't accomplish our goal of having the Empire versus Federation come to light. Uh, you'll have to harass them. Don't actually harass them. But yeah, so I'm very sorry to have to announce that. I know a lot of you really wanted that Trek vs. Star Wars mod, so... We'll try not to violate your trust in the future. Uh, we won't try very hard, but we're, we'll give it at least a small amount of effort. But as far as that goes, actually, there, if you haven't seen it yet, if you, and you do play Star Trek Armada 3 for Sin of a Solar Empire, uh, or if you don't, check it out anyways, but they did announce that they're doing a sort of an alternate version to the Final Frontier uh, called Star Trek Armada 3 Nemesis, and you can definitely go, you can go check that out on the Armada 3 page. I'm going to be helping them out a little bit with that if they need it. Uh, I was talking to Bane and Gull about it before, and Draconis. Uh, but Bane and Gull from that team are also helping out on the development of Ascendancy. Uh, so making my life a lot easier because I was doing all the coding on that mod before. And that allows me to focus a bit more on the art side, which is something that I really enjoy. And that I haven't had as much time to do because I was coding for ICW and doing all the coding for Ascendancy. Uh, and it also gives me more time to focus on ICW. So a big thank you to them. Bane has been uh, working really hard for that. And Gull, I'm trying to get oriented. Uh, I'm going to be getting him oriented so he can help with that as well. But Armada 3 is a great mod, even if we're not making the, the Trek Wars mod, so definitely go check that out. Can we just kill, kill all the nice little Nebulondies? I really thought this would be going worse than it is. Uh, there's still a lot of fighters we have to take care of, but we can't afford... All these lost fighters that we have. No 
The good thing is once they lose all of their uh, all of their frigates, they might just decide to retreat. And that actually, there was a comment on the last video, and again, I'm sorry, I do not remember who it was. Uh, I responded to it there as well, though. But I'm just asking about how later on in a lot of campaigns, you get to a point where uh, you're just fighting fleets full of fighters when for example for the nr or like other small frigates i uh, i think we've gotten to a point in this campaign where there's a lot of like a disproportionate amount of uh providences and gladiators on maldrude and this is sort of the result of this isn't because the ai doesn't want to build capital ships it's partially the result of the fact that uh bigger ships have more limited build locations and it's also partially a result of the fact that when the AI retreats, it's usually after all the big ships are dead. So even after that point, they'll retreat. They'll only have the fighters and the small frigates left from that fleet. And then that'll retreat somewhere. And they'll build in the same proportion, more or less. So they'll be building... Like, their new built units will be in the correct proportion, but then they have that other glob of fighters that's still left over from before. And so eventually it gets to the point where the fighters accumulate and accumulate, and they're also losing a max pop cap. So it's a higher proportion of their uh, regular pop cap. So they don't really have the option to build the new ships that you'd kind of want to fight or you'd want to be in their composition. Like right here, they have a lot of fighters. They still have some heavy cruisers. But, uh, oh god, you shouldn't be flying through the, through the asteroids. A lot of them are coming in now. So we're trying. We're going to be trying to do some stuff to limit that. So limit the amount of fighters they can have in the first place, so that uh, it's less than less of an issue, and they can never get past that certain number. Uh, the AI does kind of cheat as far as like going past build limits. So it's not going to solve the issue 100%. But hopefully, it should get to a point where they're at least having some decently uh, decently composed fleets by the end of the game. On target. All fighters attack. Part of it is just that the AI fights each other so much in the mod. Uh, like in this map, there's eight playable factions. Or no, I th there's six of the playable factions, plus there's some other smaller factions, like there can be Zero Command and uh, Corporate Sector once Zinj dies. But that's sort of where all that comes from. Alright, we can get some extra fighters. Let's try to take that out. I don't want to destroy Cronus. If you spin, you're going to be doing damage to yourself. Right, we're going to need them to go for that. I'm still not 100% sure how it got into the middle of the asteroid field, but we'll allow it. Can you get a little closer? Okay. Yeah, no, you just you just spin. You spin through the asteroids. That's great. Maybe asteroids do not concern you? I don't know, they concern me. Alright, let's uh well, if you're just going to spin into them, that's fine. Whatever. You guys, come help. And you guys over there. There's some other stuff I wanted to talk about today, but I cannot remember what it was. We also covered that one trailer that we posted as an April Fool's joke. Um, oh, 
I may no. Did I? I think I might have talked about it last time. The spreadsheet we have and how I kind of want to make a public version of that. I think we're probably just gonna post it as far as or post the parts that uh, we still need to do for 2.2, and then we'll just update that every so often. We're gonna post that. I'm gonna work out something to post on the forums for that because it's not entirely clear what's uh, for a lot of people what's still being worked on and what's not. I think we'll let that. Yeah, we'll let that get away. There's nothing too big here but as far as what's actually left to go into the mod uh, and then if we can just post uh, what units are still left to do and art wise it would at least give you guys a better idea what to look for or of how long is left so what do we want to do with it let's just drop these guys over here I want to resolve the space because there was nothing really there. We'll get over here. Destination set. I think, yeah, this is the one of the base game maps. I think this is the base game Bothway map. So, just invade there. And then we're going to take over, or we'll have to move back before Meldred decides to attack. Invasion commencing. There's an ATAT. -AT, they have the advanced factory, so there's going to be two ATATs because of the garrison light vehicle or heavy vehicle factory. So that's it says two M tank, but I think the PA version has the IFTX, and then there's AT ATAPs for the light vehicle factory. There will be, I think, four ATAPs, maybe eight IFTX, two AT ATATs. Ready for recon. Gearing up. Almost there. Scanning the area. We've Watching located the enemy. enemy. Moving, out there. Moving out. Okay, we don't want to fight you. Advantage. Choose your reinforcements. Well, we don't want to fight it. Just not yet. Let's Moving drop out. some of these guys there. Reinforcements Get some of these route. guys. We're going to go for this one first, because I think there's going to be a build pad. There's somewhere in one of these paths. Because there's four in the base, and then there was one up here. On the preview. Reporting. Squad, move out. Right, the Bothans are doing their job. Oh, Many of them died to give us this battle. Fly ahead. Let's see where it is, because I forget. I actually just started watching The Office, too. Here we go. Perfect. Let's fly over here. Uh, a lot of the ground balancing is still going on. I've been trying to finalize some of the plans for that. Uh, a lot of the stuff in the demo right version away, was just sort of bringing stuff up to a much higher level than it's going to be at, uh, just to sort of diversify some of the roles. And so now it's a lot more of the bringing everything in line. Okay, this is scary. Yeah, you guys go take that over. So that it's not 100% done as far as that part goes, but now it's a lot more Move of the fine-tuning. We'll park these guys just here. Ooh, we can actually... Reporting in. Roger that. Form up. Let's get you guys right over away. here. We want all of our Awaiting orders. Plex dudes. All right, well now we can get out. I don't think they have any actual artillery. No, they didn't. Reporting. Okay, so now what we want... Reinforcements. On my way, sir. AT-AT, -AT, or an at -ST. We'll get more rocket dudes in. One of these. Oh, there's one. Or there's theirs, rather. Reporting. Uh oh. Like, uh, the ATAP is being really strong. Uh, we just wanted to get them out of the place where they were useless. 
So they're probably not going to be as strong in the in the next release as they were as in, in the demo. But we wanted them to go from being complete garbage to being at least useful. Now we'll end up toning it down from there. You know, you could actually help right now. The New Republic tanks are also going to get nerfed significantly. A lot of people have brought up that the AT ATs are too weak. I don't think it's so much that as compared, like the New Republic tanks have always been very overtuned, the T3 and T4B. Especially considering they come in a group of two or th two. Uh, is there actually another heavy vehicle? There is another heavy vehicle factory. Oh, it's just the light vehicle factories? Oh, here we go. Order, sir. Yes, sir. Scouting. Support order acknowledged. I don't want to have to fight more. There's too many of them at once. I think I want to reduce the garrison at once to being f two. And overall to like six. Ready to go. On my way. Engaging enemy. Scanning area. We'll back you up. Awaiting orders. Unit destroyed. Lead the way. Target acquired. We'll send it out. I did. Okay. On the move. Enemy. Oh, we need to kill you. And we'll kill you. Kill you. Affirmative. Let's go. Providing backup. You're fine with those. Oh god. Right away. Moving out. Right behind you. Ready to receive orders. Fine. We'll do it this way. We are victorious. Thank you for noticing, game. We're going to need more ATATs. I'll probably build, go back to building those between episodes. We're just going to get back there so they don't do anything, any funny business. Beginning construction. Do, do you need funny business? I don't know what that was supposed to be. Star Destroyer reporting in. I kind of want to move these guys and these guys off Coruscant Navigate. to help Cronus. Yeah. I'm happier with this. Enemy fleet approaching. Uh oh. Is it gonna be a remnant fleet? Hold on. It may be a remnant fleet. Or do the rebels have more units? No, it's from Maldrude. Okay, so they're coming from Kuat. What do they got there? Sixteen provinces? This is what I was referring to earlier. Alright. There they are! Blast them! Yes, let's blast them. Like some sort of Clone Wars thing. But, uh, yeah, so the Slevered actually, after he's done the Cardin skin for Ascendancy, he's gonna be, at some point after that, he's gonna be working on the, uh, on the Providence, or not the texture. He's just going to be doing the UV. Then me and him are going to be working on some of the Empire of the Hand stuff. Because uh, that's the big art requirement for 2.2 at this point. It's just the some of the Empire of the Hand stuff. Uh, especially the Ephodio and the Peltist. Once those are done, the rest is just redoing stuff, which we can save for a future version. Uh, that's more of a whatever is done when everything else is done situation. I honestly would have preferred having the Eclameters in instead of some of these other things. We really just need these Skip Rays dead. Why are these Skip Rays not dead? 
And we need that IPV dead. Ooh, so VSD one. That's nice. That's a nice. <laughs> Let's get this one. Gonna be so many arc one seventies and skip rays. I don't know. I really don't want to give them more room in their pop cap. I just want to kill all the fighters. Alright, we really need to protect the raiders. Nope, just focus on this one. Don't kill the one we have all the subsystems down on. Right, the Arc 170s are doing. Scouting. Alright, we got another subgroup flying in here. Uh, I took out the engines already, so we can't leave. Alright, let's kill that off. Nope, don't shoot the bombers. You guys, you're fine over here. Let's go over there. We'll keep the raiders close to the front. Get the bombers. Go after the side here. Oh, we got a bombing run coming in. Skip rays are really good anti or yeah, against fighters too. That is what I meant to say. Let's get you up a little bit. Let's definitely get you up a little bit. Closing on target. Right, we gotta. No, we. Yeah, we, we do gotta get in there. No, you guys stop. You're fine. Raiders, you're fine. We sort of forced them back over here, so that's fine too. Losing the ISD. We're gonna have at least some fighters coming out of that. So that's fine. Arc 170s are just wrecking that. Go for the Providences. Get these close to the night hammer. I kind of want to get these raiders in the back line so they can replenish their shields a little bit. The bombers. It's victories, acclimaters, providences. Some sort of Clone Wars mod. Alright, we at least fought off over here. We can get the bombers up there. Get the fighters to sweep up here. Alright, they're coming in. We've got a bombing run happening. Command. 
Okay, they'll get one bombing right off with this, but they won't get another. Cronus. Everybody starts saying your goodbyes to him. Keep in mind, engines are destroyed and have been since his shields went down. I cannot retreat. They would likely have taken down the shields and destroyed the engines while trying to retreat too. But one raider left. Yes, Commander. So many Arc 170s. Yeah, we can bring in another Reclamator at least. Well, that's nice. Uh, let's get some TIE Fighters over here. Each be gun available. Go for you. Do we have a raider anymore? I don't think we do. Nope, it's all dead. Oh, that's boost weapon power, not the stop thing. Can you attack me? I don't think anything's going to be in its range. Yeah, we lost Cronus. Would have needed more raiders. But we still have like four SSDs, so meh. So I guess we'll have to build a lot more anti-fighter for dealing with the eventual and our counter-attack and also for dealing with these Maldrude fleets that have so many provinces and gladiators. Get that. Let's get you guys... No, you can't. Let's get you guys after those last frigates there. There's still two of them there. Get all the fighters we can over here. No, you guys, come on. No, come on. No, I want you over here. Get one of you over there. Maybe over there. Mm, 
Okay. I don't think... Well, we can just keep HV gunning until they kill it. Way too many bombers for us to deal with there. Oh, the skip raised Article 170's anti-bombers. It was like 97% bombers. I think we're going to get another shot off. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So... That'll probably do it for this episode, so remember to leave in the comments a complaint about how I need to be more careful with my heroes. Even though I don't actually care about the heroes that much. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you next time. Assuming this dies right now. Yeah, it's, it's dead. Okay, so we killed... 29 of them. Alright, so thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye, guys.